Today we got our first look at Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2's Season 2 update and we got a reveal of the new resurgence map, Ashika Island. Let's go through what gameplay images we saw, what we're getting for multiplayer maps, and a bunch more stuff as well for this upcoming update. First, let's run through all of the POIs on this map. It looks super, super cool. The quality of this map, by the way, is fire as well. A lot better than the leaked image, of course, but let's start at the bottom here. We have Beach Club and then Town Center right above. We have Oganiku Farms and then Asuki Castle in the middle, Residential right above it, to the right, Shipwreck, and right below, Port Ashika. So, you know, pretty cool stuff overall. Cool POIs from a top-down view. It looks really, really nice, but now for the actual... POI images here. We didn't get all of them revealed, but we got a couple of them and they're really sick. Quick reminder again, shout out to my partner Apex Gaming PCs, a bunch of great customizable PCs over there. Use code MATTERS for a discount. Links are down below. First one here is Suki Castle. This one is so, so cool. You're going to see a reoccurring theme here with all these POIs and the map in general. You have a dark and gloomy type of vibe, which I think fits really well with this area, with this map. Definitely a lot better than, you know, we were talking about on my stream today, Caldera. Super saturated. The colors were weird. It was this just like yellowish green tint to the whole map. Didn't like it whatsoever. This is a cooler tint here. For this castle area, you have a really nice cherry blossom tree. You're going to see a lot more of these around the map. The castle in the background looks sick. The grass is cool as well. I mean, aesthetically at least, it looks really sick. Now, the gameplay, we'll see for ourselves very soon if it's actually fun to play, but aesthetically, fire. Of course, Charlie Intel did confirm that this is based on Castle from World at War. Of course, it was also remade in Vanguard. A bunch of other people in my stream also said that this has some vibes to a COD Ghost DLC 4 map called Dynasty. Maybe there was some inspiration from that COD Ghost map. Who knows? But for the most part, this seems to be just based on Castle, which we already kind of predicted here, which is cool overall. And we're also, again, you know, not getting Castle in MW2's MP, which I talked about in a previous video, but just a reminder for that, which is a W there, because Castle as a multiplayer map, definitely not the move in my opinion. Now, the next image here is another really, really sick one. This is Town Center, and on stream, when we first saw this, we immediately thought Treyarch vibes, almost like Black Ops 2 vibes, and it, all, it looks like Raid low-key from Black Ops 2, that circular driveway on the left, it literally looks like what you saw in Raid, and I wasn't the only one saying that on stream. Exclusive Ace also tweeted around the same time, this section of the new resurgence map looks like it could potentially work as a 6v6 map. I mean, this area literally looks like a 6v6 map, some type of crazy version of a raid. It looks really cool. So if they sectioned this off and brought this over to MW2's MP, that'd be fire. Now, of course, I would still want to see uniquely made MP maps in completely different locations, but, you know, having small sections of the Resurgence map could still be cool for future updates, maybe the Reloaded update. Let me know down below your opinions on that. Of course, Carnage Hero also saying, giving me Raid BO2 vibes. It's not just this POI as well for some reason, and let me know down below if you agree with me here. This entire map just gives me Treyarch vibes. I mean, it looks like a Treyarch map but with a Modern Warfare tint to it you know what I mean it has that like Modern Warfare modernish dollar feel but a lot of the actual you know POIs and the colors themselves look like they're from Treyarch just a bit more with a with a Modern Warfare filter on it if that makes any sense that's what I'm seeing here I don't know I, I think it's cool though I think it's a re very cool vibe and this area also kind of looks like an advanced warfare map perplex I, th I think this was a DLC map I don't know. Cool vibes there. Hopefully that is, you know, sectioned off as a 6v6 map. But the next POI here is Beach Club. Another really cool vibe. This one again, giving me Treyarch vibes. This looks like something from, uh, you know, someone said a fire team map from Black Ops Cold War. For some reason, just it, it gives me those vibes there. But regardless, this area looks sick, of course. Obviously, we'll see once we're playing what it's like to traverse this area. I'm kind of worried the cool areas like this on the corner of the resurgence map might not be as populated because sometimes, again, as the circle comes in, you're just not going to be in these areas. Now, obviously, sometimes the circle will be, you know, centered right here. That could happen. But I feel like with Caldera especially, and even on Mazar, there are certain areas of the map that really aren't seen as much in actual gameplay because you know the circle just collapses like for Almazra, the circle collapses always like right in the middle of the map right around hydroelectric 
and you're never in Almaz or a city or any of the POIs on the sides of the maps here. So for Resurgence here, it's a lot smaller of a map, so you're most likely going to be playing in all parts of the of, of the island here. But hopefully, you don't have you know POIs that are made look really sick, seem fun to play in, but are never actually playable because the circle collapses so quickly. So we'll see what ends up happening there. Another POI here, we have the Underground Waterway. This one is really cool as well. For me, this gives me vibes from Fortune's Keep for sure, but also a little bit of, you know, the underground area from Raid Episode 1 and Modern Warfare 2 for some reason reminds me of that. But definitely Fortune's Keep here, kind of like the caves you see in Fortune's Keep. It's also funny because High Moon Studios, the same studio that made Fortune's Keep, is also developing this map here. So you could see some similarities, of course. And Fortune's Keep, by the way, you know, I, I feel like it's a solid resurgence map. It was kind of overshadowed by people still playing Rebirth Island. And, you know, Warzone wasn't in the best state when Fortune's Keep came out. Caldera was out. It just wasn't, you know, that fun for people. People were disinterested in the mode overall. And Fortune's Keep didn't get enough love. And if that map would have released at a different time, maybe during, you know, the Modern Warfare life cycle, for example, it would have probably been received a lot better because it's a solid map overall. So definitely, you know, excited to see High Moon Studios develop this map here. It looks really sick and can't wait to see more of it very soon. And of course, it will be free to play and available in two weeks on Wednesday, February 15th, coming very soon. Now, for this overall update, again, we got a bunch of stuff for Ashika Island, Warzone 2. Uh, this is also going to be for DMZ as well, which is super, super cool. But again... Still don't have any information on what we're getting for multiplayer. Now, we talked about potentially a section of this map being uh, added to MW2's MP. That would be really sick, but we need new unique content. So I still am waiting to see over the next week or so. Probably next week, we'll get a full reveal of the season. You know, the full roadmap, gameplay trailer, stuff like that. There's also supposedly a cinematic for Ashika Island. We'll probably get that too. But again, specifically for multiplayer, I want to see some actual MP content revealed here. I feel like a majority of this update for season two, majority of the marketing, I should say, it's going to be all geared towards Ashika Island, the major Warzone 2 update uh, slash DMZ as well, which, you know, again, I completely understand. It makes complete sense. Warzone 2 is kind of getting a mini revamp here. A bunch of changes are being made. No more, you know, tiered backpacks. You can now play while running and you could you know crash through walls like you could or not through walls but through doors as you're plating back like back from warzone one that's returning so you know a mini revamp there most of the focus will be on warzone 2 but hopefully they don't just fully neglect multiplayer because again multiplayer is kind of fun in this game i mean i'm enjoying mw2's mp but there's just barely any maps to play so hopefully hopefully i'm praying we get some type of content at least a uniquely made mp map uh, a remake two uniquely made maps whatever it is just bring us something let us hold us over if we're getting a lot more mp content for the reloaded update I i'm fine with that because I, I, I i'm pretty sure warzone 2 is going to be the focus of the launch of season 2 which is fine but hopefully we just don't get anything for multiplayer because you know who knows what if we just get one remake for the launch of season 2 that would really suck so i mean i'm hoping to get something here just something for now so i think multiplayer really needs it but overall that's it here for this video of course i'll be sure to up to you guys when we're getting any reveals right when it happens i'll be sure to stream cover it on the channel thank you guys so much for showing love on the stream today it was a ton of fun we're doing a lot more streams very soon be sure to join the discord down below to play with me on streams to talk to me during the streams and all that good stuff uh shout out to the youtube channel members as always subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys